Tony Lynn. And I'm Jason Franzenberg. And we are West High Falcons from Davenport, Iowa. Here at West, I'm involved in a lot of things like band and choir. For band, I play the tuba and I do a lot of contests and try to try out for state festivals. I'm also a baritone for choir. I'm also in Asian Club, which is a multicultural club that does a lot of service projects. One of the major things we do is the Student Hunger Drive where we go around neighborhoods and collect canned foods and donate to the food pantry. Academically, I'm in National Honor Society and I'm on track to graduate as first honors. One of my favorite things here at West is the STEM program. We do a lot of hands-on work and gain a lot of experiences. We also get to travel sometimes for new experiences and meet a lot of new people. Our robotics team is called the Combustible Lemons. We compete at a lot of regional and state competitions where we've won a lot of awards and we also compete at Worlds in St. Louis. I was fortunate enough to be nominated by my peers for a Dean's List Award, and I became a finalist at the state level, and I was in the top 100 in the world. I was also in Real World Design Challenge, which is an engineering competition where we design unmanned aircraft systems, and uh, we went to nationals in Washington, D.C. We got to meet a lot of teams from the in the United States and from, from Polynesia. And uh, we got a tour of uh, Washington, D.C. and we got you know, a lot of professionals from there. Uh, last year, I was part of Endotherm, which is an almost an MIT event team. Uh, we are one team out of 15 in the United States. And we made an invention to prevent vehicular heat stroke for children and pets. For the invention, uh, we invented or innovated a wristband for babies to wear around their wrist or arm, and it would detect uh, heart rate and location of the baby uh, in, within proximity to a car. And within their, the car, there'd be a beacon with cellular and uh, Bluetooth communication that can communicate to a phone app that we made. After high school, I plan on majoring in architectural engineering at uh, California Polytechnic University. I'm really excited about the major because it's a combination between architecture and structural engineering. And then a couple of years after that, I plan to maybe own my own engineering firm in, in the Quad Cities. I teach um, engineering classes here at West High School and have done so for the last 10 years. I've been teaching at West for 15. Um, and we started our Project Lead the Way Engineering program 10 years ago. So since then we've implemented it and we are a Project Lead the Way model school in 2010, which is the highest honor a school can receive from Project Lead the Way. Um, Project Lead the Way is the number one STEM curriculum in the country right now in the most schools. It's very rigorous and relevant curriculum. So the students receive college credit for all of our engineering classes. I'm honored to have won um, a few different Teacher of the Year awards in, in several different years and um, last year I was the Southeastern Iowa Teacher of the Year for, um, for the Governor STEM Advisory. One of my favorite things about teaching and coaching is just the interaction with the students to see them grow from their freshman year to their senior year. It's tremendous growth on these kids parts and to get them prepared for that next step, that transition to college is very exciting. Tony's been really exceptional because he started out um, in the shop floor working with the tools. He just loved to tinker and solve problems. And we've had some exceptional mentors over the years and other coaches and teachers that just have helped Tony along the way. So his skill and knowledge attainment, he, he just absorbs things. So just like many of our students do, and this type of learning happens throughout the school. Our Inspire program is very exciting, um, especially the capstone where we're going to bring all of our areas together and give the kids a difficult problem to solve, and they're going to have to work across the lines. So um, if you look at our business and finance department, we have some exceptional teachers there um, who are bringing their career pathway into the Inspire program. Our engineering program um, has won many awards, and, and that's going to be part of the Inspire. Um, engineering technologies, which would be along the lines of advanced manufacturing, meeting our local needs is also very important to the INSPIRE program. 
Um, computer science is something new and exciting we've started and we've been able to get a master teacher um, to come in and head up our computer science area. And then we also have our health um, services career pathway that's very exciting. I'm very privileged to work with our students here um, and I am excited about our future. Um, I think we're in very good hands. These kids are passionate about what they do. We're seeing kids go into industrial design, engineering, business, our future computer scientists, um, our health service students. Um, I really think that we're in very good hands with our students.